hey, we've got a package in the mail and it is a special camera that I've now purchased for the fourth time. We're gonna unbox this camera. You guys already have seen the title and the thumbnail, so you know a camera we're here to talk about. But it's one that gets me excited because this is a very, very popular camera. And then not to mention, the resale is pretty good. But I'm not going to sell this. I'm going to make this a staple on the channel because you guys keep coming back for this camera. Look at this big bubble wrap. Hang on, let's pop a few bubble wraps. Oh, weird. It's like you can't really pop it. <laughs> there we go. Guys, we're here talking about the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II. These cameras have to be in production again. You realize that Canon, they've released the Canon G7X Mark III. It's out there. That camera sometimes sits on the shelves, but one camera that just keeps selling out like crazy is the Canon G7X Mark II, and I got this one from B&H Photo. I paid for it full price. This video is not sponsored. Um, like the video if you like me spending money. But keep coming back to this camera. I've made several reviews. I'm gonna link a video right here that you can go watch where I shoot with this camera just straight out of the camera shooting JPEG. Um, nothing, you know, nothing manipulated in the photos, nothing like that, nothing touched up. But I have a whole library and uh, this camera is popular because it's got a 20 megapixel uh, sensor. I'm gonna just read the specs here. Let's let's kind of go through the specs. Uh, let's see. It's got an opt. It, it it does have an optical zoom, but um, when I shoot with this camera, I rarely use the optical zoom. I don't. I don't like to zoom in with this camera. And uh, for all you photographers out there, like whether you're a casual or you're a street photographer, um, move around with the camera. Like just challenge yourself to find different angles. Don't rely so much on the zoom. Of course, if you have a zoom lens, like on a bigger body, uh, clearly you can use that, but for something like this and the kind of photography that I do on this channel, it's always a challenge to you know move around and find a good shot. Now, uh, and, and, and I know all the specs, Kay. I've made plenty of videos, I'm just reading this for reference. So, um, okay, so it's a 35 millimeter equivalent. Um, it goes anywhere from 24 to 100 zoom, which is kind of hard to believe on this camera that it can go up to 100, which is really, really good because you can get a lot of zoom. That means you can be quite a good ways, uh, maybe like 20, 30 yards and get really close up on somebody if you wanted to, if you wanted to be a little creep. Um, it does have a tilting screen, so if you wanted to vlog uh, and shoot yourself video-wise 1080p, it's good for YouTube, it's good enough. Um, this camera will do it. Remember, there is no webcam. Um, but honestly, like the webcams on your computers or the webcams that you can buy for like 100 bucks, $200 are uh, way better than this would ever produce. Um, yeah, 1080p video recording, built-in Wi-Fi, uh, ISO um, up to 128, so 12,800, my bad. Uh, up to eight frames per second shooting. Not the quickest, but hey, yeah, you can get some burst. Um, pretty good optical uh, stabilization, and then yeah, you've got like manual control rings, and it looks like it can do time lapse as well. Let's see all the other details. Is there anything that I'm missing? No, that's pretty much it. Guys, when this camera goes on sale online, it, it's it gone like that. Um, I put the notifications on B&H Photo, saw the email and right away, um, I purchased the lens. <sighs> I've purchased this camera at a 629 price point, just the camera alone with a battery. I've paid $649 for like the creator kit. Um, I've also, uh, I think I paid like $679, so incrementally just kind of keeps going up. But this time around, just for this camera, no content creator kit that's actually been discontinued. If you're looking for that, I'm sorry. Um, now you're gonna be paying $699, and I've seen these sell uh, used for up to $800, and I'm confident that if I really wanted to hold out and sell this camera locally, brand new, not opening the box, 
uh, that I could get probably up to $1,000 or even close, which is just absolutely absurd. But it's cool. Like, Canon is still manufacturing this camera that's been around for years. Okay, so let's open it. We're going to ruin the value, unfortunately. But I'm going to make videos with this camera. It's one of my favorites. All right, so what do we get in the box? Uh, first, we're going to verify that it's a Canon 7 uh, G7X Mark II, which it is. Okay, we got the right thing. Uh, let's go ahead and open the flap here. By the way, guys, if you haven't subscribed, like, now is your time to subscribe. Like, come on. What are you guys doing? I put out videos weekly. I'm trying to do this YouTube thing, you know, talk about cameras and take you guys on adventures and, and, and show you guys some cool stuff. So what do you get in the box? Get a warranty card. Um, you can basically register it. We know that. Canon has a pretty good warranty service. I think it covers pretty much anything except for drops and water. Um, comes with the App Connect constructions. That's wonderful. Comes with, uh, uh, yeah, just to like where you can register your product. Comes with the menu. And also guys, um, one thing uh, to always remember is that if you have a camera that is desired highly and people wanna purchase this camera, usually to just up the price and just be able to get a good resale value on it, just always keep the box. People want to see the box. Um, for some reason, when you keep the box, it kind of like signals or tells people that you take care of your stuff. It, it just, it's weird. You can ask for more money. But we're not gonna sell this one. We're gonna keep this one. Canon G7X Mark II. All right, we're removing just the plastic in the insides. Here is what it looks like in the inside. It comes beautifully wrapped. We're gonna remove this carefully. And man, that feels so good in the hands. Like I just love like the thickness, the weight, it's perfect. Um, I, I don't know, I can't describe it. It's like, that's tough. It's like the weight of like an iPhone 15 Pro Max is kind of what that feels like. Yeah, with it with a case. So we'll come back, we'll, we'll come back to the body here, but what do we get in the box? We get a battery, which in the past I've purchased multiples of these and you really don't need it. Like if you're just kind of shooting and the camera's in standby or maybe you remember to turn it off every now and then, like this is plenty enough to take with you for the day, like wherever you are. Um, I've taken it to Mexico, I've taken it to California, I've taken it to several different states. One battery is enough. Um, I'm not shooting video though, okay? so. Um, I'm just going around shooting photos and as long as I'm like remembering to sh shut my camera off and like not have it on me burning up and uh, you know burning through the battery like you can get a day out of this. Uh, in Mexico for reference like I, I went out and shot for like three hours, uh, didn't put it on the charger, took some more photos on the cruise, I went with my mom, we took some really cool photos, really great memories and uh, I, I didn't have to charge this battery till like the next day uh, after using it like the next day. So this will last you um, in the box as well. We have the little charging brick, which actually has been updated. I've noticed that on the uh, new releases of the Canon G7X Mark II, uh, these are just kind of feeling a little bit different to touch. It's kind of like a flat black. Um, I don't know. There's just like a little, little, listen, it's got like a little grain. It used to be like really polished and smooth. And in fact, I think it used to be bigger. But your battery just pops in here, okay? Nothing to it. And then you got the fold out brick, boom, perfect for traveling. All that good stuff. And you do have a little like LED uh, indicator here where it'll tell you that it's charging and then it'll also indicate uh, that it's full. When it's charging, it's gonna be orange and then when it's full, it's gonna be green. That's when you know your battery is like at 100% and then you can take that and go travel. Now, you do get a little wrist strap, and I believe in wrist straps on this channel because I've dropped several cameras. Uh, like it's inevitable, you will drop your camera. So always just have a strap and always just take that precaution in uh, making sure that it's just like secured, make sure it's good, like make sure, you know, it's not gonna go anywhere, right? Like you're not gonna drop it. Well, um, yeah, I've dropped a like $1,200 camera before. I've dropped all sorts of cameras. I dropped my $4,000 Sony FX3 and it broke and I had to like make an insurance claim and it was horrible. But now 
We take the Canon G7X. Oh man. The Canon G7X Mark II. Look at this thing. Look at the shine on that. Hang on, maybe this will be the cover. Here we go. We'll point it here. Okay, that's the thumbnail. Got it. Um, the Canon G7X Mark II, just a girthy camera. Beautiful weight, dude. I'm just, man, I'm such a fan of this camera. I'm such a dork uh, for it, but look at this thing. Just beautifully built, like a beautiful, I wouldn't say gunmetal, because we know gunmetal is silver, but just a nice black polish. Um, the button layout on the top is fantastic. You've got the little spin wheel, the dial here. Um, you have an internal microphone, of course. And then we've got that flip screen that everyone is just so stoked about. So if you want to, again, if you want to record yourself, there you go. You can do it kind of like selfie style. Take a video. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm a street photographer. Subscribe. Blah, blah, blah. But what I love about this is that this articulating screen, um, not only does it extend out like this, but you can operate it flat like this. And what this allows you to do is you can lower this down to like your hip level. And so if you're just kind of standing somewhere, you can kind of put this down, like you're not gonna see it. You can put it down here. You can kind of have your cell phone in one hand. You're kind of looking here and you look down and you see a really cool frame shot. You see somebody like, I don't know, smoking a cigarette or drinking coffee or like they're kissing a significant other. If you wanna be kind of sneaky, but also capture a beautiful moment, you can shoot from the hip uh, and this is something that you get with a lot of premium cameras out there, right? Like we've all seen those cameras that offer this, but I would even tell you that my Ricoh GR3, wherever it is, doesn't have an articulating screen like this. And it kind of sucks. Like I love the quality that I get with that camera, but you're only really getting like four megapixels more, um, but you're not getting like this cool functionality. So articulating screen, amazing. Um, you can control the focus from here. Uh, let's go ahead and flip it on okay we're just gonna pull the battery little lever there and uh, the memory card also goes in here too I don't have a memory and I don't want to disappear off the screen because that's not cool for you guys so we'll stick the battery in here and then I'll just kind of show you the uh, the zoom features of the lens if I can get the battery in there we go great okay we're gonna power it on for the first time and I think it extends on power there it is, yep. So you see that extension? I know my background is black, but look at that. It's about, I would say like maybe two and a half to three inches on the extension. You have this manual focus if you elect it. Um, a lot of people say that they don't like the zoom out lenses like that just because the motors are gonna go bad on them after a while. Guys, I've seen these cameras used from the time that they were put out. I've seen them for sale. I've purchased the used versions before. They work fine. Uh, the only thing that I've noticed from the older Canon G7X Mark IIs that I've purchased used is that, yeah, like they've been abused just like any almost 10 year old camera would be. And yeah, it's got a little bit of dust inside of the lens, but it's actually nothing that you can see uh, when you're taking photos. So. You got the Canon G7X Mark II, power on. I think we've got a little zoom rocker here. Maybe, maybe not. Hmm. There, okay, you know what, it's stuck on the time and the date. So let's just go ahead and skip that. I'm gonna hit menu. And I know I'm not going crazy. There we go. See that? Okay. So yeah, you get a little bit of an extension. That's up to 100 mil. And then you come back and you're at about 24 millimeters there. Super, super wide. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, this this looks great. Like, I've never vlogged with this camera, but maybe I'll try it for a future video. Remember, I do street photography on here, but I'm a professional videographer, and it actually would be cool to test this camera out and see like, hey, can we get a good picture or good cinematic quality out of this camera? I'm sure you can. I mean, this is a content creator camera. Uh, this is something that was used uh, quite heavily by a lot of like famous YouTubers. But yeah, that's the Canon G7X Mark II. Um, let's kind of cover the dials here a little bit. So 
Uh, you have uh, the record button here for video. You've got flash settings. Oh, this camera does have a flash. That's right. I always forget that. Let's go ahead and hit menu. Let's turn the flash on. It's actually an auto setting, so we're going to have to just kind of change it. I like to shoot an aperture priority, which is AV. And let's see if we can turn on the flash. We might have to go to menu. There we go. And let's see this flash pop up. Oh. Come on. All right. I think it thinks that there's plenty of light here. All right. I just figured it out. So on this side, you actually have like this little flash release that you just pull down and boom, there's your flash. Will it flash? No. Okay. I don't shoot with flash usually. I'm like not a big flash photographer, but maybe we can also make a video out of that if we go night shooting. But again, just a uh, beautiful camera, Wi-Fi capabilities. Um, a beautiful rubber grip just feels really good in hands pretty inconspicuous you've got the articulating screen it's beautiful it's a gorgeous camera before I drop it I'm gonna go ahead and put the wrist strap on but guys um, thank you so much for tuning in that's been the unboxing of the Canon G7X Mark II just a phenomenal camera that everyone is after everybody is paying top dollar for and it seems like Canon is just gonna keep making these and releasing them until they just continue to sell out uh, because why would they stop? And again, if you guys wanna watch more videos on the Canon G7X Mark II, sorry, I'm trying to put the strap on, um, click right here or right here. But that has been an unboxing of the Canon G7X Mark II on my channel. Thank you guys so much. See you guys on the next one.